Lesson 2, Unit 1 Introduction to Project Design Project Design is the second phase of the DME cycle. This phase consists of the following elements. Analysis of the project stakeholders, problem analysis, analysis of the objectives, the use of the logical framework matrix, and the development of the full project proposal. The first four elements of the design are also known as the logical framework approach. The logical framework approach, or LFA, is a systematic and participatory approach for project design and planning. It is a results-oriented methodology for project design. It is also an analytical tool to transform ideas into proposal. The design team will use the LFA as a process to design and plan the project. Project design is the process that helps identify the right solutions to clearly identified problems. These solutions are structured in a way that facilitates implementation and communication to key stakeholders and the monitoring and evaluation of the project. A good design requires more than collecting information on the needs of the stakeholders and come up with a solution. A good design is important in the development projects, mostly due to the high level of complexity that requires that projects are designed with a focus on results. The design requires that the projects are aligned to the organization vision. A good design is based on evidence and information from previous projects and their evaluations. It is participatory. It includes the input of key stakeholders, partners, and other actors involved in the project. It is adaptable to the changing environment of the project. It is not a rigid design, but a flexible one that allows for changes driven by information from the monitoring phase. The logic model is used during the design phase to incorporate the theory of change into the planning process. The purpose of the logic model is to describe the sequence of events and their logical linkages. The main components of the logic model are inputs, activities, outputs, outcomes, and goal. The logic model is a narrative or a graphical representation of the process and its underlying assumptions upon which an activity is expected to lead to a specific result. The underlying logic in this model is if the project uses the inputs, implements activities, then it will be able to deliver the outputs, which in turn will deliver the expected outcomes that will contribute to the final goal. Inputs include the human resources, raw materials, financial, organizational, and community resources, and even the experience and knowledge a project has available to carry out the work. Activities are the processes, tools, events, technology, and actions that are used in order to deliver a specific output. These activities are in control of the project, but require the active participation and involvement of key stakeholders. Outputs are the direct deliverables of project activities and may include types, levels, and targets of services to be delivered by the project. They are the goods and services that are measurable and they are tangible, and they come as a direct result of the activities implemented by the project. Outcomes are the specific changes, short and long term, expected as a result of the project outputs. Changes in participants of the project can include behavior, knowledge, and skills. Short term outcomes should be attainable within that one to three years, while the long-term outcomes should be achievable within a four to six year time frame. Outcomes can be divided into three levels. Short-term outcomes are related to learning. They can include changes in awareness, attitude, and skills. Medium-term outcomes are related to actions. They can include changes in behavior, practice, and decisions. The long-term outcomes are changes related to the conditions. They can include health, economic, and environmental. Impact is the fundamental intended or unintended broader change that comes as a result of the project outcomes. Impact is a long-term goal that usually takes longer than the life of the project. 
an individual project may only make a partial contribution to achieving this change, and it may occur only after the project is completed. This level is usually measured during the evaluation of the project. The logic model and the theory of change. Sometimes these terms are used interchangeable, but there are some specific differences between a logic model and a theory of change. A logic model illustrates project components and the relationship between impact outcome outputs, activities, and inputs. It is a tactical view of the project, and it helps develop the implementation plans. On the other hand, a theory of change explains the how and why a desired change is expected to develop. It shows the whole picture and all the possible pathways of what is needed for a change to occur. Here are some of the advantages of using the logical model. It helps define the work and measure it. Performance measures can be defined at any level. This ensures that the work on activities are delivering the planned outputs and the expected outcomes are being achieved. Any changes in the indicators can also help make timely modifications and helps avoid waste of time and cost of the project. The model also helps demonstrate the attribution of outcomes achieved to the project intervention. Here are some of the disadvantages of the logical model. The project logic is not a guarantee of the actual logic. It is a partial representation of a much larger and complex system, and it doesn't include the effects besides those initially expected and planned. The design of successful projects shows the following characteristics. They use an accurate definition of the problems and its root causes. They recognize the community needs and include the participation of key stakeholders. It is not a rigid design. It incorporates flexibility to adapt the project to changes that occur in the environment. A good design increases the chances that the project proposal will be funded, that the plans will be implemented and deliver the expected benefits. That is why it's important for the organization and the team in charge of the design to spend the necessary time and resources to design the project and ensure that it's feasible and can lead to sustainable results. But most important, to design a project with enough flexibility to adapt to the changing environment.